season seven of Fortnite is a Fortnite season like we've never seen. With aliens taking over and a massive UFO above us, things are a little scary. But nevertheless, there are season seven mythics, and in today's video, we're covering exactly how to get them. Now, if you missed my videos I posted yesterday, be sure to check them out because I showcase how to get unlimited XP and, of course, easy battle shards to level up your season battle pass. And if you don't have a battle pass, you're in luck. We're giving some away here on the channel, so leave your epic ID down in the comment section. Let's waste no more time and let's get into it. So if you're wondering where to get the season seven mythic, it's actually right in front of us. And you'll never know if you just landed at Corny Complex because Corny Complex is more than just a farm. That's right. It's a whole underground base. But if you look around, everything looks pretty normal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loot up. And right now we are in a battle lab and this battle lab is sort of special because I can actually do something that you would never expect to do in a battle lab. Let me show you. This right here is a stone. And if you guys look at the top left of my map right now, watch this, ready? Yep, I just completed a quest in battle labs. Yep, I sort of broke the game. Go check out my video yesterday for unlimited XP. It's actually insane. I've been farming battle stars all morning long. If you enter into any of the buildings in Corny Complex, you'll notice that these are more than just regular houses. Hello. They have IO guards in them. And okay, he wasn't he wasn't dying. But as you can see, there's a lot going on here. They're investigating the UFOs. And of course, there's even secret chests like this one right here that when you open them, drop brand new weapons like the brand new rail gun, which by the way, is a little bit overpowered. And there's even these like really weird like machines all around these houses. And of course, with the brand new weapons, I have something I sort of want to show you guys. So I've gone ahead and got a proximity grenade launcher. And honestly, it's not really needed, but it sort of, you know, makes it a little bit more fun. Now, as you guys can see right over there, there is some IO guards. Now these guards are protecting this barn. Sir, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to the viewer, sir. God, that's so overpowered. All right, let's go and take these guys out because they're getting really upset that I'm here. God, the infantry rifle is disgusting. Now, if you're a big fan of the infantry rifle, the brand new mythic in this season will definitely bring you back to the past. Now, this barn is more than just a barn. This barn is actually holding some really big secrets. But you're probably wondering, Garrett, how do I get underneath? How do I go underground? Well, there's two ways you can do it. You can go this way. On the bottom, there's an opening that allows you to go inside, right? Or on the side of the barn, there's actually an access point that you would not really, you know, think to check, but it's actually right here. This like barn door opening, this hatch actually goes underground and there's IO guards down here. Let me reload this thing real quick and snipe this guy in the back of the head. Hello, sir. I missed. He's ducking. He's alerted the guards downstairs now too. Uh-oh, they're pissed. Now downstairs is the brand new mythic boss. There she is right there. That's her. Now she is actually one of the skins of this season. I forgot her name though. Oh God, she's pissed. She's not happy. She's not happy. I'm running, I'm running. Oh, there's more. Wait, stop everybody. I have to explain what's going on. Oh, look, the elevator's out of service. Anyways, listen, this is what's happening. This mythic boss can actually replicate herself. So when you start the fight with her, there's multiple versions of her and you have to make sure you remember which is the right one because she replicates. Now, I believe her name is Dr. Sloan. In this season, they got rid of makeshift weapons. And when you kill this lady, you'll see that she just, oh God, she's pissed. Listen, stop it, stop it. Stop it. Cut it out. Stop it right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Okay. By the way, she has a mythic rifle. She's shooting at me. Just so you guys know, she means business. Just throwing it out there. Oh my. I have eight health. I have eight health. I have eight health. I'm, I'm, I'm dying to a bot. I'm dying to a bot. I'm dying to a bot. Oh God. This is embarrassing. I have all gold weapons and I'm still dying. Okay. All right. This is happening. We've got to find some, we got to find some health real quick. Sorry. Don't mind me. Just, just. Running around looking. Oh, a blue rail gun. We don't. Oh, yes. Got some minis and a blue pump shotgun. Now, Dr. Sloan is pretty easy to take out when she's alone. But when she has all her freaking minions and all her clones, 
It gets a little crazy. Surprise attack right here. Surprise! <laughs> oh, oh God. They're not supposed to be alive. They're supposed to be dead. How did you guys? I almost died. All right. This is what we've done this for. Okay. First things first. If you guys didn't know, uh, there's new crafting ingredients. You can actually side craft now as well. With upgrades, you can make lever action shotguns. You can make um, burst assault rifles. You can make so much stuff. It's crazy. But we are here for Sloan's pulse rifle. Now, this pulse rifle is a brand new addition to the game that's similar to Tony Stark's rifle in season five. Right? Season five? I think so. Now, it's a powerful pulse rifle that's fully automatic when hip fired and slower shots when aimed down sights. You guys can see the damage is 38, fire rate 4.2, magazine size 16, and reload time 2.68. Comparatively to the infantry rifle, it's pretty similar, but the infantry rifle is a lot slower. It's uh, This one's a fire rate of four, this one's 4.2, the magazine size of the infantry rifle is only 10, and this one is 16, and the reload time on this bad boy is a little bit faster than this one. Now, the great thing about the Sloan's pulse rifle is it has first shot accuracy every time and it actually does insane amounts of damage on top of that this is the brand new recon weapon which is broken you pretty much shoot it and it tells you what's around you and what you can loot so it pretty much it lets you know like hey there's a chest up here that you can get and it shows you every item within this like vicinity of this little beacon of light so we're gonna make sure we grab everything here now we're gonna put Sloan's rifle to the test. We're gonna launch an enemy bot grenade as far as we can. And we're just gonna tap somebody in the head with it. If he just sir, sir, sir. Oh, he's oh stop moving, sir. 57 headshot damage, which is not as good as the infantry rifle headshots, to my understanding. Yeah. Yeah. So this weapon has been brought back to the game to go ahead and reintroduce the pretty much the love that the infantry rifle has and then of course what everyone loved about tony stark's rifles which this gun isn't terrible it does 38 damage per shot which isn't a ton but it's not like the end of the world or the worst thing in the world um but I, of course you also have an, an epic quest you can complete to do damage with it so let's go and do that real quick we might as well hello sir I have your leader's gun, and I need to kill you with these these rifles. I've got to deal damage. There we go. Deal damage with the pulse. 30,000 XP? Oh, my God. 12,000? Oh, my God. It's too easy. It's too easy out here. Boom! 12,000 XP! Bro, this is insane. Or a boar. Boom. 12,000 XP. Oh, my God. This is fantastic. So yeah, all in all, I'm not sure if this season's Mythic is really get worth getting. Like, the Mythic boots of last season weren't really all that. This rifle isn't all that either, unfortunately. It's okay. If you're in the area, grab it. But it's definitely not, like, you know, a needed item. Of course, though, if you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to drop a like. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new one. We've been, been uploading tons of brand new Season 7 videos. And you guys have been loving them, so... Yeah, stay away from the aliens and do your best not to get abducted. I'll see you guys later.